Good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. You join me in Lustred at the Volks Marina where I'm going to take you aboard this huge converted barge. I've just filmed the footage for my main channel uh, regarding the tour of this boat. So if you want to find out the full specs and all of the minutia when it comes to uh, the details of this boat, then make sure you check out my other channel, Yacht Boy. I'll leave a link for that in the video description. As you probably gathered, this boat is huge. Uh, and what they've done with the space on here really is fantastic. Very impressive, very high quality. I'm going to take you in the living spaces because without a doubt, on this boat, they are my favourite features. Uh, look at the size of this galley. All open plan. I mean, the headroom in here is just insane. Yeah, you're probably looking at about, I don't know, 12 feet of headroom, I think. Um, but yeah, you've got um, loads of appliances down here. Huge windows letting in lots of natural light. Uh, two on the port side, two on the starboard side. Uh, but yeah, really well appointed galley. Um, you know, very modern, very clean, uh, very well laid out. Um, you can really host a good feast aboard this boat uh, thanks to the size of the, uh, the galley. I love the lighting in here as well. I think, you know, lighting is something that's really underrated. I'm a big fan of nice, indirect, soft lighting, and they've made really good use of it on here. Uh, here we have a living area. Again, extremely spacious, well laid out, very comfortable. Nice thick carpet on here, so it's a really homely feel. Uh, it's crazy to think that you're actually on a boat uh, when you're on board this, you know, not least a converted barge. Uh, it feels like you're in a nice high-end flat uh, in Canary Wharf in London. That's, that's what this boat feels like. Um, but yeah, what a great, fantastic living area. Uh, the brass fixtures on the portholes there. I mean, look at how sturdy that is. Really impressive. Yeah, I've got a lot of admiration for the people that design uh, and convert boats like this. Um, I really do. I wouldn't even know where to start. Well, we've got some stairs that lead up. Uh, up onto the upper deck but let me show you around the accommodation starting with the studio so if you want to work on board this boat there's plenty of space uh, it's even got a toilet in here as well but yeah dedicated space just for working look at that you can come in here shut that door crack on with making your next video to load up to youtube or whatever it is you do check your emails um, you know, this is a really nice working area. Uh, I could definitely work in here, no problem at all. Lots of space, lots of headroom, lots of natural light coming into the area. But yeah, wow, what a place to work. Nice little seat there with a reading light. Okay, let's check out the rest of the accommodation. Head forward. Another thing as well, look at how wide this corridor is down here. Great place to stow your DVDs and books over there. All right, I'll take you into the first bedroom, which of course is a double. Again, the finishing here is, the, is really immaculate. I mean, I'm not an interior designer by any stretch of the imagination, but you know, I'm really impressed with just the layout, how clean everything feels, how bright and airy and modern everything feels. Um, they've done a fantastic job. And of course, as with the other, Rooms on board or cabins. Obviously, you're on a boat, so I'll call them a cabin. You've got lots of natural light coming in. So, this boat uh, used to be uh, moored up in Canary Wharf, London, uh, and they've, the owners have brought it over to the Netherlands to list it with De Volk uh, to sell. So, if you've been to Canary Wharf at all any time in the last, I don't know, 10 years, 15 years, I think she was there, maybe longer, uh, you'll probably recognize this boat. I used to work over that way and I used to see this boat all the time uh, and I always wondered what it looked like on board and here I am to come and show you guys. Uh, we've got a nice shower there, very roomy, very spacious, uh, toilet. We do have a door, sliding door that does shut so obviously you're not getting the steam and condensation you know, coming into the living area. Again, another porthole there, nice size sink. But yeah, I mean, let me know what you think of the accommodation so far. Let me know in the comments. Uh, let's take you up forward into another room. 
Look at this. Look at the size of that bed as well. Huge bed. Um, another big window. I think for me, this is my this is my favourite room. Cabin, should we call it? Big double mirrors on the double doors back there, right next to the bed. A huge shower with a rain head, but not your usual rain head. That's slightly different. I like that. Big fan of rain head showers. But yeah, huge shower in here, and you've got a bath. His and her sink. Very Hollywood uh, vanity unit there. Absolutely love it. Loads of storage space. And, you know, loads of compartments and drawers to put all your stuff and all your gear. Don't flush anything but toilet paper down the toilet. Always a good thing to remember when you're on a boat. But yeah, I mean, look, when you're laying in bed, sleeping, and yeah, you've got a nice big mirror there. It gives it an even greater depth and sense of size in there thanks to that huge mirror okay let's go up to the bow got a utility area a dryer and a washer you know this boat is in uh, is in running order so if you buy the boat you can go cruising on it it's ready to go uh, it is fully uh, fully functioning workable boat over here got another toilet very decent sized one for a day head as well. And a tiny little porthole there. But yeah, I, it feels like you're on a, on a hotel, a floating hotel, that's what this feels like. I can imagine this being a fantastic option for an Airbnb as well, wherever you decide to uh, moor it up. But yeah, we've got a twin single over here. So your nippers can come and get their heads down well away from everyone else aft. So if they're having a, an argument, you won't hear them, which is ideal. If you've got kids like I have, who like to argue a lot, a bit of respite never goes amiss. Another shower there. But yeah, what an impressive boat. It really is, it's just huge. You know, really wide, obviously really long. Um, like I said before, if you wanna know all of the details in terms of the specs of the boat, uh, then check out my other channel, uh, Yacht Boy. Uh, let's walk back down towards the living area. Now will be a good time for me to say to you, please don't forget to give this video a like, because uh, it means that more people will get to see it on YouTube. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Boat Boy is all about showing you around the boats that I feature on Yacht Boy, but just in a more informal, uh, relaxed way. But yeah, look at that. Absolutely stunning. Let me know what you think. Thanks for joining me. I'm gonna sit down and cook myself a meal for one. Not really, I've got to head back to the airport, get on the plane and fly back to Gatwick. I had a really good day here at Devault. Uh, you know, these guys and girls are amazing. Uh, really great hospitality, really know their stuff. Make sure you check them out. And I'll see you on the next one. But wait, before you go, I wanna show you the wheelhouse. Look at this. Look at the size of that ship's wheel. Absolutely huge. Sigma, NASA Marine, all the switches over here. Uh, you do have a thruster on this boat as well, bow thruster. But look at that. Look at the engine controls. Absolutely fantastic. Now look, another area to sit down and relax. Oh look, let me just quickly take you down here. I know I said I was going to end the video, but while I'm here, I'll show you this area as well. Another work area. They've even got an exercise bike up here too. Oh, and in there is another bathroom. Head bathroom. I mean, we're on a houseboat really. But yeah, thanks for joining me. I just thought I'd quickly show you this area. because I knew that you'd probably want to see it. I'll see you on the next one.